All right, what's going on, my beautiful you fam? Ryudin here. This is it. This is the last DLC for The Walking Dead. It really has been a long journey. How how long have we been playing this together? Uh, it's been a couple weeks, haven't it? Hasn't it? Um, actually, no. I think it's been over a month. We've been through a lot. Clementine's story. Kenny. Lee. Uh, who's that weirdo that we all hate? I I'm just kidding. I know that guy. But Ben, all these other Ben, Doc, all these other characters. But just the whole story, everyone's lives, all the crazy decisions we had to make, all the gut wrenching moments we had to witness, all the tear jerking moments that we had to see as well. They all wrap up here. This is the last DLC of the game, and then from here, I'm not really sure what we do with The Walking Dead. Um, a lot of you told me that you want to see me play uh, The Wolf Among Us, A Wolf Among Us. You call it uh, the best game Telltale has made, which is something that intrigues me a great deal because these guys have clearly made fantastic games. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, if it's better than this, then that's a pretty damn good game. Um, there's also a Life is Strange, but some of you said that's a bit cringeworthy. But we're going to go through both those games to pay respect to a studio that unfortunately doesn't exist anymore. Um, poor business decisions, I guess. Actually, no, I think their uh, investor pulled out at the last moment. God damn it, how dare they do this. But anyways, let's continue the final DLC. Let's wrap up a truly amazing series. And my controller unplugged itself. How dare you? But anyways, from what I understand, um, some of you have said that this is supposed to be like 400 days after the apocalypse has started. So this is supposed to be after the apocalypse, but before um, the beginning of Clementine's story with Lee. So let's see what happened. Damn. Holy crap, gas is so damn cheap. You know that this is a fictitious land when gas is that cheap. All these lives that have been lost. All these people that have been killed. That is one ugly baby. That is a man child. That was a man in the form of a baby. Hey, it's that hat. It's the same hat that uh, Clem has. I wonder if any of these characters become DLC characters. Russell, Bonnie. Wait, we know Bonnie. Oh yeah, some of you have said that some of these characters make their way into further seasons. I don't remember why it. Maybe that's Jesus. That looks like Jesus. Isn't Vince in season four? Uh, sorry, the Michonne DLC? I think she is. I don't remember you two, but I do remember Bonnie. Russell? I don't remember Russell. Let's start with Russell. Is it, are these all chapters for what they all did during the apocalypse? Cool, I like that. Let's start with Russell, the homie. What are you doing, my guy? 184 days into the apocalypse, Russell mysteriously decides to walk on a barren road when we know that everything kills everything. Wow, and apparently he struggles to carry his own backpack. What's this piece of paper? I got like 60 miles left, I think. Ain't shit. This man has to walk 60 miles in the middle of nowhere. Look, the dead, right there. Hey, you getting up? No, dude. Good. You have a weapon? Of course he doesn't. Why would Russell have a weapon? That'd be the smart thing. And as we learned this entire time... Oh my god, a car. Shit, shit, shit. Hi, you idiot. Oh my god. Yep. Oh lordy lord. Hey, it's a guy with a hat. I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. Shit, bro. I don't want no trouble, man. No smoke. I don't want no trouble. 
please. You just want to be left alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. No, that's not what I meant. I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't. What's your name? I'm Russell. What's up? Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who oh, you steal stole it? from if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are this guy just being crew? honest with himself? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? It's mine. I didn't steal it. Alright, good. I don't like thieves. Just Sounds like an honest hard. man. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise and I'm bored. Come on. Alright. Fair enough. Well, like, it's better than anything. Yeah. Look, the sun is setting. I'd I'm not like trying to die out here. Good, thanks. Hell yeah, get in, let's tear it up. I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she likes to party? Just get in, we'll get there. Or somewhere, eventually. Thanks, man, you're a real one. Sun is setting and I'm an idiot walking 70 miles Name's until Nate, my way. place Thanks to be. Asking. You thirsty? Sure, uh, assuming it's actually water. That's not water. Here you go. I'm straight, thanks. You're not uptight, are you? This is the fucking apocalypse. This is like nothing. Man, it's no, drunk driving. It's good, all right. Why are we giving him attitude? Come all on right, now. All right. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? Must have been with a crew. I'm gonna be honest. Just so we get Russell's story. I don't know what he's Tail about. back where you come from. Maybe drop you off. Do a double back. Sure, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you about who I was with. Don't leave out I any hear. juicy deets, all right? Ha. <laughs> uh, okay. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They are all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy. Was teacher and his wife? Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic yep, number. Yeah, magic so number, lucky we seven. Nobody in the group. We found survivors. It was the same every time. He... He... Kill him? Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it... I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. This man really is bored. Jesus Christ, man. He doesn't sound like a good dude, to be honest. I wonder if... I hope this isn't the entire DLC. Holy Jesus Christ. Holy Jesus Christ. Go, man. Just get us out of here. This guy is crazy. He has no ammo. What an idiot. What an idiot. Oh, my God. I'm just realizing now all this music playing, I got to mute it. Oh, God damn it. That sucks, boys. I just don't want to get hit with the copyright strike, you know? Oh, I thought that was going to be the entire DLC. Like, that's it for their story. Does everyone just circle back to this gas station? Looks familiar.
Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. I. Oh my god. Oh shit. Go! Dude, I didn't even get a chance to actually answer anything. Somebody popped a shot Boss, at us immediately. Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! This guy's gonna get popped. I know, I know it. Okay, get ready! Don't stop running! And keep your head down! Go, 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 go! Keep your head down! Let's sprint to the finish! Woo! Good hustle. What right, happened to I'll man? cover you! Look how good you did! He has no ammo. All right. What are we going to do? First, we're going to figure out exactly where this asshole is. Oh, he's on the roof, Just man. Glance. Surprise! Oh, he's not on the roof. He's in the window. See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. Oh, we have no right. ammo. Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. What? Okay. It's a pretty smart idea. Just keep your head down. All right, let's roll. All right, I'm surprised the guy's not Shit. popping us right in the ankle. Just oh, keep pushing. that guy is really smart to go ahead and pop the tires so we can't keep moving. We're, we'll be like sitting ducks. Shit. Push. It's a shame he gave up the truck for this. Uh, end of the road. We're screwed. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. All right, let's go. Yeah, no problem. Easy as pie. Just don't get shot. Yeah, I mean that's uh, that's you don't have to tell me, Chief. We'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You give the gun to me? me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you want to go first, that's fine too. I'll go first, I think. I'll go first. That a boy, Russ. Haul ass. I think it makes more sense that way, just because you know. Let me embrace the danger first so he can learn. All right, I'm good. Heads up. Are you serious? Nice. Please don't tell me I'm going to lose the homie trying to do this. Whew. As soon as you start shooting, I'm coming. All right, let's roll. I screwed up with the catch. Get over there and we should be good. Go. Sprint to the finish. Go, go, go. Imagine we get shot in the ankle. We lose a big toe or something. Totally not your ankle, but that's fine. Are you serious? Come on, idiot. Oh, damn. He saved our butts. Thanks. We're not done yet. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. Man, the flammable liquid is pretty much a dead oh, giveaway man. that uh, that's going to be in some way related to what's happening here. Yeah, what are we doing? Well, we got to get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're going to take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Isn't this similar to the other guy, though? It's, you know, find the guy, kill him, steal his stuff. I mean, this guy shot at us, so it's fair. Watch out for that. He's still What's alive, though. Jeremy, finish him off. Oh. We should put it out of its misery. It's fucking dead. Come on. Feel like a big man now? No, man. Give me the knife. Let's pull go. the pull the kneeve while we're at it. Uh, of course. Okay, we don't want to get more weapons. I swear he's gonna die. Not a fucking beep. Let's go. He's gonna die. It's he's gonna open the door, get shot in the face, or there's traps. There's no way this guy. I see him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. This is such a stupid idea. Why am I whispering now? I'm not in this situation. I think I saw a guy. Alright. 
got this. Easy does it. We've played how many sneaky characters in Skyrim and Oblivion and Morrowind? Nudge the left stick forward gently to sneak quietly. Push the left stick forward to firmly jump out. Don't fucking move! Whoa. Just an old guy. Ow. Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this What's fucking going on? spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food. You've lost your goddamn mind. Oh, God. Dying, and now she can see your face. We've never been here, sir. Then who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please just get the fuck out of here. Please leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? No, man. What, what is wrong with you? Of course not. Holy crap, he's deranged and crazy. Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up. There are real fucking monsters out there. No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I see. Fuck you, Nate. I saved your ass. You didn't. Oh, do here shit. we go. Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. What is going on here? Is he gonna do it anyways? We should have stayed around to defend them. He killed them. That's Russell's story? Are you kidding me? What? Okay, I want to go through the characters. I don't even know. We know Bonnie. Bonnie's an idiot. Vince is a cool dude. I'm pretty sure Wyatt is Jesus. Look, the uh, the distinction is there. So I'm going to go ahead and look at who Shell is. I don't remember who this is. Who are you? It all comes back to this gas station. What the hell happened? Oh. I hope this guitar Wait. doesn't copyright strike me. Two hundred thirty-six days in. I hope there's not like a chronological order. Like I shouldn't have to go clockwise, counterclockwise, or anything like that. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I don't know. I know it's changed me, well, all of us, but at this age, for her, I don't know. This lady it's has no kid. idea She's what's been going comes. on in the world then. through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... I think we've already learned that at this point, trying to shelter a child from the realities of the world were a bad idea. Like, Sarah being protected from Carver and all this other stuff was a stupid idea. We needed her to toughen up, so we embrace it. Great. Becca, it's time to fight. You think we can do something like this every week? Sure. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Why does he look familiar? Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, Why thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden. We're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Uh. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. 
I think she's just gonna Michelle, accidentally shoot set? herself. Meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Oh, what does this trigger to pop? Pop like a tomato. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Excellent. What did Roman want? I don't know. I don't know yet. yet. I don't even wanna out? Yeah, in a sec. Thanks for the attitude. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Someone is stealing. Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. It's another case of the Ben pulling nice some strings. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Goddamn camera angles. Uh Oh, what's this? Knives. Eesh, Excellent. These knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry. They're on our list. This is cool, though. They have a... Si Did you ever find out what happened there? Oh, my no. God. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. Still, well, we know from uh, Russell's story what happened. Damn, it's two bloodstains, so... That guy really did kill them both. What a pile of trash. The real question is, where's Russell in all this? Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. All right, let's see what's going on. What do you want from me, Chief? Are I running out of food? Pantry door. Sink. Let's just go outside. I'm not inspecting everything. Oh, you scared me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. What did they give? I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. He is telling the truth. We've experienced it. I know. I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. Why well, should be one of our survivors? I really hope it's not. Why well, should be Russell? We find out it has a signature backpack. Hey, buddy. What are you eating? Intestines? Disgusting. Oh, no conversation with him. But this is cool. You get to be up close and personal with what, whatever they're up to. What you eating, buddy? A mouse? A cat? God. What is he eating? I didn't even see it. Oh, it's a dog. Oh my god, it's the grandmother. She ended up passing away from her injuries then. That's a shame. And then the old man is nowhere to be found. I'm going to assume they had to finish him off. Unless there's one more. Nope, he had to finish him off. That's a big yikes, boys. Oh! <laughs> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that Holy again! Holy crap. Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. <sighs> you just... You can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. She certainly gets shot in I the face. Weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... <sighs> Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back... Eating a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. She already forgot. She's stone cold. But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. God damn, you don't say that kind of thing. Becca. What is this? Shell! Becca! Something! 
Something's going on outside. Uh oh. What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Dude, this gas station is cursed. Apparently, everything goes bad here. Come here, going on? everyone. Shit. Come on. We gotta find Roman. This month. Is that Russell? Jesus. Largum. My God, Largum. what did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't Poor believe guy. he just snuck in. The second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Are we getting to a point where you have to start eliminating them? I don't know them? what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. And send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? Oh, he could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. Well, the guy I got mean, beat up. Nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't take the risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I... I guess that would be okay. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boy, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he, he gonna... He can't help? even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. Hmm. That's racist, yeah. Are you judging him based on race? Of course not. But come on. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the stranger's boat the whole time. And at the first opportunity used us to take it from his group at gunpoint. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. I mean, that's pretty logical if you think about it. He would we be a detriment. What we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. Going to kill him? We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Uh, yeah. You're right. It's got to be one or the other. It does have to be. As cruel as it is, we got to look after our we're own group. Letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. Of course it's down to me. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? <sighs> Someone beat him up. We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. Respect for you. She's already lost it. This girl's crazy. Look at her. Look at her eyes. She's like, I want to kill everybody. Tear. Rip apart. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, you poor him guy. Three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith. Get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today, and if you ever, ever come, probably doesn't this really mean again, all this. He's just being intimidating because he has to. You wish you had died today. Yeah, see? The expression in his face says that this is not really the kind of person that he is. Oh. Not too long later. Do you have any fours? What's going on? Why'd we nope. separate? Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. 
Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. What attack? That, guy that one go. guy? Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. You're telling me that and guy came back? We're keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible. Oh right? my god, I made a mistake. Well, Maybe the guy did time. actually speak English and it Roman was bait. Any chances. This is what I, I get for being too honest. Behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh god, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's I should have just killed him. I'm an idiot. I got a man about. killed We've for no honest reason. Already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Let's head on out. God okay. damn it, we made a mistake. I'll be I'm outside. You'll see me. Is this about Becca? Just come see me. Man, I got a guy killed. Probably nothing. Don't worry about it. He you know what my concern important. is? What was the other yeah, choice? Well, like if we killed him right there, what would happen? Roman. Stay here. The song just commit a suicide. I'll fill you in when I get back. Uh oh. They don't look too happy. No, 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 no. I don't care about the painting. I think she's going to rip us a new one for letting that man go. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they going to do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Where is she going? Like, what else is there aside from a well established group? Doesn't it seem kind of stupid? Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? Kill her. You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Now she's a risk. Do you know where she was going? What her plans were? No. She had a bag with most of our ammo and medicine in it. Damn it. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Because we made a mistake last time. Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us 100%. We're here. We'll take care of her. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. That is true. But what's her Give reasoning? Her chance. She might not try to leave so quietly. All right, fair enough. Yeah, right. It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. Now nah, we're just gonna shoot her. God, what do I tell Becca? Because the way that he That's explained it, it makes a hundred percent sense. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Because uh, you know, if she's thinking selfishly like that, she's disregarding our own safety. We gotta start being selfish herself. Shell. She's getting What's a wrong? pew pew pop pop. Mind. <laughs> <laughs> It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. I gotta be honest with her. Oh my god. Can't shelter her. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. yeah. Why would she do this to us? Jesus, AJ's influence is on everyone. Doesn't matter. She did what she did. Stupid. Yeah, it's killer. 
Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Watch her be like, I want to do it. Let me shoot. Pew, pew, pew. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there in the drawer. Stop being a baby. Just You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. No. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Makes Besides, a good point. You know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. I'm not trying we to leave. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I swear she has a better understanding of this situation than she does. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Yeah, what a baby. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. So take I the just gun. Need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. It is what it is. Becca will remember this? Good. I think she already knows. You know what I'm worried about, though, is if Becca gets in a situation where she puts us in danger because she's being rather mischievous so far, and uh, it's going to come down to having a killer or not. It seems to lead that Sorry. way. Me too. It is what it is. It is what it is. Although I don't really think that choice really influences anything. 